we are now here at the blood and transplant facility. So um, I took blood the other day and now I've followed it all the way down to here to see how it's all processed and, and learn about what happens to when you donate blood. In short, what we do is turn a, blood, a, full, a whole blood donation into its component products ready for transfusion. So it comes into the building to us overnight, then right. we select uh, what product that blood will be made due to the blood characteristics. So the, the person who's donated the blood, the donor, they'll have certain characteristics about them. And then whatever that is, that will determine what the product is going to be. So you said overnight, so it's that quick. So I donate. Yeah. So within, what, 24 hours? Yeah, so all of the blood that we work on on a daily basis is actually donated the day before. So we right. all work, so from the time of venipuncture, so from the time that the needle goes first into you, they have 27 hours then to process that through the system and then get that into storage ready for, ready for sending to the hospital. 24 hours will take for my blood to end up somewhere like sickle cell trait your blood can't be given to someone with sickle cell disease mm. um, and we just need to make sure we know <laughs> basically so I mean I could have blood from someone who has sickle cell trait because I don't have sickle cell disease of course what we're producing is extremely it's, it's a vital product it's every unit that leaves this building will go to helping somebody to save their lives blood is needed for lots of different things there are there are many people from obviously all around all, all around the world that have accidents that have to go through and go through operations people have illnesses that require them to, to have transfusions and what in what we do here mm -hmm. is it, it's, it's just it, we're basically the middleman from the person who's coming to donate yeah. to who it's going to be a hero save a life give blood